Here's part two of the engine swap. I had to uh, order a kit for my starter and uh, rebuild the bearings and brushes inside of it. But let here, let's hit, let you hear it all run. I got it tuned just right, sort of. But it's not the piston this time. It's either the uh, governor seal or the valve seal. Because it's got a brand new uh, head gasket on it. So I know it ain't the head gasket or the uh, piston. This is how much oil it's drifting. thought the HH120s was the good ones. I went through this thing from front to back. All I'm not done is paint the inside of the rims and the, um, put new gaskets in the motor. I guess I'm going to do both of that now. It's $40 for a gasket kit I think and I'm painting the inside of the tires not white. I'm painting them something else I think. I want this oil drip out on the ground, I guess. Put all my tools back up and go back inside. It's cold outside. It's about 30 degrees out here.
or uh, 20 something degrees out here almost but uh that's it for that one for the 12 now I did a video earlier about a cast iron Briggs model 19 it's not a model 19 it's a uh, model 23 because I ordered a model 19 skip and that ain't working on it or the head gasket and everything is wrong but uh, this is, as you all know, is a starter generator made by Daco or Delco, whatever you want to call it. I got these in the mail. I bought somebody out that had these for a round fender John Deere for $15 a piece. I bought two of them. And here's the brushes. Here's the bearing sword. Now, as I just said earlier, I put it in the 12s. What I'm going to do a little bit later on is uh, put that one in there. Now that comes with new bearings, new springs, new brushes, and uh, new screws. This one is not charging. That one is charging sorta. So what I'm gonna have to do, probably have to take that one back out again and just put new fields in it. I'm gonna have to put new fields in this one too, so I gotta order two sets of fields for the charging system. This one just needs that whatever that oil seal leak is. What I'm trying to do is get this one to run right before I put lights on it. I want it to run and charge before I put lights, anything on it. Anything electrical, anything behind it. I've actually went out and just now purchased a, a three-point hitch arm, the lift lever. It's already painted white because it's original. My buddy came over and we traded a part off at Honda Clone, 25 bucks for this. This is original paint. Me and him went to a tractor show a couple of months ago in, uh, uh, what was it? Boone, North Carolina. Bought this off a guy for, he bought off a guy for $20. I gave him something he wanted and 25 bucks because I really needed it for this one. I'm going to put it on the back of this one. I'm going to make the hitch again like I did for the blue 12. I mean, for the ST16. The blue 12, I took the ST16's, um, uh, I took the SC16 pitch off. I know it's my motor, but it's also the one that runs right all the time. Just need to put a tube in it. That's it. Put the hitch on it. I bought this one. When I bought the uh, the white, black and white 12. Bought the center like two. I hadn't made the rest of it. Um, one thing I had to do, as you see, I had to weld it two inches extended out. So to clear my fenders, because I had on fenders jacked up. So it works out fine now. There's my disc. Sears disc. I just did a garden with it earlier, uh, a couple months ago. I'm looking for a turnover plow. I really need a turnover plow because my mother wants to do a bigger garden. And that tiller that I have, that little green tiller over there, is hard to handle. So I thought I'd uh, get something for her. So we can use it because I've got all these Cedar Suburbans. I know the ST16 will run perfect. It'll pull through. I know that blue tractor will pull through anything because the ST16's got a fully rebuilt motor. It don't smoke at all. It's got really good compression and thin board out and everything. But this one, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know what its problem is. I mean, it's one little thing after another with this sucker. Now, I'm going to try to replace that uh, valve guide gasket. And if that's not it, um, I'm going to take that side plate off and, or just take the governor off and pack something around it. Take the old seal out. Got to find out what I can do about that. I don't know what I can do about that governor leaking. Could probably take the. Uh, old side piece off the other one take this governor out and put it on this one it's, it's just the other one's just for parts now the other Tecumseh this one runs pretty good though you get lights in a either a valve stem or a tube and paint the rims and that's it after I put the fields in the star generator and fix that old leak 
But I've fully restored this sucker. I'm gonna have to do some touch-ups before we go to a show with it because it's starting to. It got scuffed up by the cheap paint I bought when I first started it. So I'm gonna put the same paint I put on the starter generator on it. 2,000 degree paint. It's just flat black. It looks good. Let's see if it'll fire up one more time. Then I'm in the video. says no but I uh, put my tools up my booster my gas can everything out it's about it temperatures dropping right now it's getting darker everything's getting colder I'm gonna just cool down a little bit come out here in a little while and cover it up I'm going inside do some laundry so please comment rate subscribe there will be more on the Sears and more on my tractors and more madness about uh, restoring tractors and mudding and more of that stuff. So uh, thanks for watching.